Hello students, welcome back to Union 2 and Public Health Industry. Today we are seeing a concept of health and public health. It is a very commonly asked short essay. It's very frequently asked and it is very interchangeable. Students used to uh, write concepts of health for public health and vice versa. So always study well and make sure that you don't get confused on the day of exam. So let's see what are the concepts of health and public health. So from time immemorial man is interested in treating the disease, treating uh, any kind of disease, not just uh, acute disease, all type of other diseases. But in the earlier time treating a disease, the concept were so different from now. So that time uh, they had medicine man, priest, herbalist, magician, all were there for treating uh, in diseases in their own way. They had their own strategy. But nothing was scientific. So what happens in the 20th century due to that explosion of knowledge and this medicine has took over and they have overcome all these people and medicine has started treating people and the diseases. So the concept came as a public health. It is an organized effort to protect the well-being of human race. And the individual patient is not the sole subject and the entire community is in focus. So the most important definition that is WHO definition, WHO definition, health is a state of complete physical, mental and social well-being. Okay. It is not just merely an absence of disease. In the earlier time, health is considered as if you are not having any disease, you are healthy. But World Health Organization said health is a compilation of many factors. When uh, you are not mentally fit, you are not healthy. When you are not, uh, you are having some social issues, you are not healthy. When you are having uh, physical issues, which is not a disease, still you are not healthy. Not just disease related. So it has various dimensions and various components. They are physical, mental, social along with disease. So that definition is what uh, we are following and public health is defined by Winslow. It is a science and art of preventing disease then preventing disease then prolonging life and promoting health and efficiency through organized community measures such as uh, control of control of infection sorry control of infection we are talking about our definition of public health okay so we have a community effort that is to control infection uh, the sanitation measures then health education health services and legislation this is all included in the definition of public health okay so it was uh, given by Winslow now we move to the concepts of public health okay don't forget it is public health it is divided into four phases first two phases of 40 years and the last two phases for 20 years and it started in 1880 the last phase of 19th century so how diseases were controlled that is what the basics of or the basic uh, idea of this concept how the diseases were controlled so the first phase during the early 20th century and last part of 19th century it is known as disease control phase later 1920 to 1960 which is known as health promotional phase then came the social engineering phase that is 1960 to 1980 then comes the health for all phase and still it is in the health for all phase even though it is uh, finished by 2000 this is all idealistic uh, concepts or a notion that where the diseases were controlled in this way. So let's see what was the disease control phase during the 19th century. So that time um, people had no much idea about the uh, health, uh, the determinants of health, the causation or the concept of causation. So they were mainly focusing on sanitary legislation and sanitary reforms. Okay. So they thought if we control or if we do reforms on man's physical environment we can control the disease that was correct 
up to an extent but not complete correct so they were mainly focusing on water supply and sewage disposal good water and good sewage disposal that was the focus on that phase that is disease control phase how disease can be controlled they thought good water proper sewage disposal that was the strategy then first disease control phase so these measures were actually not aimed at control of any specific disease okay they uh, were not highlighting any disease but they thought this could be the reason for many disease so they were aiming at these two measures and after that health promotional phase came that is uh, 1920 to 1960 so this is more advanced here the people realized that public health had actually neglected citizen as an individual okay so health promotion came into picture what are the things which is included in health promotion so they started doing few things such as basic health services through the primary health centers and sub centers for rural and urban areas and this concept was first noted by uh, Dawson in 1920 okay so first one was uh, the basic health services after that community development program so health is being promoted okay so that all components were considered the determinants of health were started getting considered not just a sewage water or the good water supply they were started thinking all components and through a community development we can improve the health of a people whereas from 1960 to 1980 when world had better knowledge better scientific notion they started social engineering here what happened was science or the people or the health system was able to control acute illness okay but what happened was the chronic diseases like cancer diabetes hypertension or the lifestyle diseases came into picture so this social engineering phase is concentrated more on these kind of lifestyle or chronic diseases and there comes the concept of risk factors like smoking is a risk factor for many diseases coronary artery disease lung cancer or many diseases so single factor can attribute to many diseases it was not there in the beginning of 20th century it came late so those things were considered in social engineering phase this phase mainly focusing on risk factor because acute illnesses like cholera or plague or sudden disease which happens overnight were able to con under control keep it under control but what happens is this lifestyle diseases started emerging so these risk factors and chronic diseases or lifestyle diseases were started getting addressed for address in the social engineering phase and uh, public health moved into preventive and rehabilitation aspects of chronic diseases okay that happened in this social engineering phase and lastly health for all phase health for all phase actually uh, there is a big disparity between the developed and developing countries in developed countries most of the people majority of the people has the access to good affordable good quality healthcare because they have good income good nutrition they have good education all safe drinking water and sanitation everything but what is the plight of developing country only 10 to 20 percentage of the people have this above mentioned privileges good water good food good healthcare facility so 80 percentage of this developing uh, nations population is devoid of all these privileges so health for all phase tried to eradicate or remove or get rid of this disparity of developed and developing nations health provisions what it is not easy it is not at achieved it is not going to be achieved in future also it takes lots of time but that was the concept health for all by 2000 that uh, was uh, proposed by who in 1981 one conference that a ambitious target it is yet to be achieved by 2000 that is health for all removing this disparity between developed and developing country 